Hello everyone, welcome to the section of the Urison characterization of normality. So we all know what are normal spaces. A set is the space is said to be normal means a space is said to be normal means if you consider any two disjoint closed sets C and D, then there will exist disjoint open sets U and V such that C contained in U, V D contained in V. So which is the basic definition of normality. Now in this section we are going to prove a characterization for the space to be normal. So actually this in this section we are going to prove that when a space is normal, when a space is normal then there is a function when a space x is normal then if you consider any two disjoint closed sets c and d then there will exist a function f which is continuous which is real valued and using that function we can separate these two closed sets c and d uh, by using that continuous function yeah so that means uh, actually this characterization says that when x uh, when f is a mapping from x to closed interval 0 1 closed interval 0 1 okay such that which is the real valued function which is the continuous function then f maps all the elements all the elements of the first set into 0 and second set into 1 or vice versa so if there exists a continuous function such a property then we say that the space is normal and which is a characterization of that normal space that means whenever that space is normal then there will exist a function continuous function f which can using that values of that function we can separate these two disjoint closed sets okay when there exists such a function then the space x to be normal so how will you prove this we cannot prove the converse part of the theorem readily so that we need to prove the supporting theorems or supporting lemmas for proving these characterizations characterization okay so we will define uh, some lemmas to prove the reason characterization of normality so the lemma one lemma one says that suppose we have a continuous function f from x to close interval 0 1 where x is a topological space okay then we define corresponding to every real number t we define a set okay that means suppose we have a topological space x to and we have a function f from closed interval zero, uh, x to closed interval 0 1 f is a mapping from x to closed interval 0 1 okay closed interval 0 1 then for corresponding to every real number t we define a set ft that means if you uh, take a real number t then you know the function the range of the function is actually closed interval 0 1 then corresponding to every real number in between the closed interval 0 1 if you consider any t then fx will be fx has two property for any x in capital x you can consider fx fx will be belongs to this interval 0 to 1 right then fx has the property that either fx can be less than t or it can be greater than t or it will be equal to t. I consider fx is less than t. So set of all x in capital X is that fx is less than t. You consider any x in capital X then, then you consider the value of x under f then that will be fx. When fx is less than t then you, you take that x belongs to this correction ft okay means lavando x capital x ledukumbole f of x ibide irikum closed interval 0 1 ile e closed interval 0 1 ile nareya elements undu nareya real numbers undu ile oru paadi infinitely many real numbers undu yan oru fixed number edukunu t ennu parayunnathu oru t ki corresponding aayittu corresponding to every t in between closed interval 0 1 we can define ft what is ft oru t fix cheythu kenjal fx kalakke t nekkal koravayittulla fx kal undavallo aa corresponding x kalde collection aanu ft il ullathu okay then in such a kind we define ft okay then this collection this collection may have infinitely many elements so this is an indexed family right so corresponding to this ft 
we, uh, we can consider infinite family or indexed family collection of ft t in r okay then this collection in all the set in all and edit to set in a thakya and then i'm going to index the family and we can because it has elements of sets then this collection or this family has the following properties and then i'm going to ft will be in the properties and then i'm going to prove it so first one says that ft is an open set in capital x for every t in r a the ft if you consider any ft then that will be an open set subset of real number clearly which is a subset of real uh, capital x because it takes elements in capital x so and we will prove that each ft is open set and second one when t is less than 0 that ft equal to empty when t is greater than when t is greater than 1 ft equal to capital x and the fourth property is that when you consider two real numbers s and t in r and if s is less than t then fs closure is contained in ft okay moreover for every x in x if you define uh, if you consider infimum of t in q such that x in ft that will be equal to our fx okay so we will prove this lemma now for the proof and note that you can define ft for any real number t not uh, not only the elements from in close interval 0 1 okay either real numbers either t k if you consider t here then uh, uh, what are the x such that fx will be less than t there are no x such that fx will be less than t because t will be uh, when t is less than 0 there are no elements which are mapped into the uh, left of t right therefore that set will be uh, empty and you can define for any t here you can define ft also and we can prove that that is capital x at all if you will work on them as it is ft will define is it illa in the vijayari kira the idil ula the new author ala then a portal either real number t at the nilam i can define this set okay so to prove this lemma first we want to prove that uh suppose assume that f from x to close interval 0 1 is continuous and for every t in r we defined uh ft equal to this set then we need to prove that this collection has these properties so first we will prove the first property okay we want to prove that for every t in r ft is empty okay for every t in r we have ft equal to the collection of all x in capital x such that f of x is less than t so which is which can be written set of all x in capital x such that whenever f of x is less than t i can write f of x belongs to the interval minus infinity to t because it, it can take at most a uh, value at most less than t at most to t so that will be belongs to the interval minus infinity comma t should i like t very very little on the interval like you so which means set of all x in capital x such that x belongs to f inverse of minus infinity t or i can say that this set is nothing but the inverse image of the interval minus infinity to t right so each ft can be rewritten as f inverse of minus infinity t for every t in real number okay and what is this interval open interval minus infinity t is an open set in the real line since interval minus infinity t is open in r and we know f is a continuous function f is continuous therefore inverse image of open set must be open in x and in therefore which is inverse image of some open set in r in the range which means comma f is continuous continuous function implies its inverse image must be open f inverse of minus infinity t is open which implies f t is open this is true for every t in r so we prove the first property if you define f t like this then f t each f t it will be an open subset of our domain capital x and for every t in r okay now we will prove the second property we need to prove that ft equal to an empty set for every t less than 0 whenever t is less than 0 we need to prove that ft is an empty set okay for the second property i consider let t is less than 0 okay we know uh, we have f is a mapping from x to closed interval 0 1 right when its range is closed interval 0 1 f of x will be always greater than or equal to 0 for every x in x because 
ഇവിടെ ഉണ്ടാവുന്ന അല്ലെ സീറോ ഇൻറ്റു വണ്ണിന് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ആണ് അതിൻ്റെ റേഞ്ച് കിടക്കുന്നത് എങ്കിൽ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും സീറോനേക്കാളും വലുതാണ് സോ ദോട്ട് ഐ ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ക്യാൻ നോട്ട് ബി ബിലോങ്സ് ടു ദ ഇൻറ്റർവൽ മൈനസ് ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ടു ടി ബിക്കോസ് ടി ഇസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ സീറോ വെൻ ടി ഇസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ സീറോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി നെഗറ്റീവ് നമ്പർ സോ മൈനസ് ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ടു എ നെഗറ്റീവ് നമ്പർ സോ ദിസ് ഇൻറ്റർവൽ ക്യാൻ നോട്ട് കണ്ടെയിൻ എനി എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് റൈറ്റ് സോ നോ എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ബിലോങ്സ് ടു ഇൻറ്റർവൽ മൈനസ് ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ടി വിച്ച് മീൻസ് when when t is less than 0 no f of x belongs to this interval no f of x belongs to this interval means there is no x belongs to its inverse image that means x cannot be belongs to ft when t is less than 0 no x belongs to ft or any x cannot any x belongs to uh, no any x not belongs to ft so which implies ft must be an empty set okay ft must be an empty set Now for the third property we need to prove that when t is greater than 1 ft equal to our whole space capital x ft equal to whole space capital x okay so let t will be greater than 1 okay now again since f is a function from closed interval 0 1 for every x in x i can write f of x will be less than or equal to 1 right f of x will be uh, sorry less than or equal to 1 yeah then we chose we chose that t is greater than 1 right so i can write f of x less than or equal to 1 and 1 is less than t because t is greater than 1 okay so we get which implies f of x is less than t whenever f of x is less than t that uh, x will be belongs to our space ft alle by property we have ft is equal to set of all x in such that fx less than t when you get fx is less than t for some t then that x will be belongs to corresponding ft so here when t is greater than 1 that means if you consider any real number which is greater than 1 then f of x will be less than t so whenever fx is less than t x will be belongs to corresponding ft so what it means which means that x belongs to ft means ft is nothing but our capital x അല്ലെ വണ്ണിനേക്കാൾ വലിയ ഏത് ടി എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാലും അതിലെല്ലാം നമ്മളുടെ എക്സുകൾ വരുന്നുണ്ട് ദറ്റ് മീൻസ് അവർ ഹോൾ സ്പേസ് എക്സ് വിൽ ബി നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് അവർ എഫ് ടി ഓക്കെ നോ ഫോർ ദ ഫോർത്ത് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി വി നീഡ് ടു പ്രൂവ് ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ എനി എസ് കോമ ടി ഇൻ ആർ സോ ഐ ടേക്ക് ടു എലമെൻസ് എസ് കോമ ടി ഇൻ ആർ സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് എസ് ഈസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ ടി ഓക്കെ വി വാണ്ട് ടു പ്രൂവ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഷോ ദാറ്റ് ഷോ ദാറ്റ് എഫ് എസ് ക്ലോഷർ ഈസ് കണ്ടെയ്ൻഡ് ഇൻ എഫ് ടി so this is our aim fs closure is contained in ft when s is less than t okay okay since s is less than t s and t are real numbers by using density theorem in between two real number there will exist a rational right so i choose a real number you know every rational is a real number so choose a real number or a rational number r such that s less than r less than t okay now let z equal to a set which is nothing but set of all x in capital x such that f of x is less than or equal to r okay f of x is less than or equal to r that means it is the inverse image of the set minus infinity to closed r because it is less than or equal to r appo then we closed r nanu ezhudande so we get this so what is c c equal to inverse image of the interval minus infinity to are closed okay now consider this set we have interval of the form minus infinity closed r is a closed set right is a closed set in real numbers or real real and with the usual topology okay standard topology and you know since f is continuous since f is continuous comma minus infinity to closed r is a closed set is a closed set in r you know every con- a function is continuous if and only if inverse image of closed set is closed so that since it is closed f is continuous therefore inverse image of closed set will be closed right so which implies f inverse of minus infinity to closed r is a closed set is closed set in capital x domain and what is this this is our c so c is a closed set in capital x 
ओके नौ वि हव वि हव वाट इस एफ एस एफ एस ईक्वल टू बै डेफिनेशन सैट ऑफ ऑल एक्स इन कैपिटल एक्स सच दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स इस वेन एफ टी दैट विल बी एफ ऑफ एक्स लेस दैन टी सिंस इट इस एफ एस एफ एक्स इस लेस दैन ये ओके एंड वि हव चोज दैट एस लेस दैन आर् लेस दैन टी ओके एंड यू नो वाट इस एफ एफ सी और एफ आर एफ आर इज ईक्वल टू सैट ऑफ ऑल एक्स इन कैपिटल एक्स सच दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स इस लेस दैन आर and we have ft also ft is equal to set of all x in x such that f of x is less than t okay so this these are the sets fs fr and ft now you can say that which implies fs will be contained in c because fs is f of x is are less than s and we know uh, s is less than r then you consider Set of all x such that f x less than or equal to r. That clearly this set will be contained in this set, right? So f s will be contained in C. So that C will be contained in f t also. Alle this less than or equal to r variable. R ne kal valid ana t. Then you are considering f t as set of all x in x such that f x is less than t. Apy f s will be contained in f r will be contained in f t. In and out valid. This will be true trivial. Okay. And what is C? We have Prove that C is a closed set, right? When it is C is a closed set, C closure will be C. When a set is closed, its closure is itself. So that here, F S closure will be contained in C closure, right? When you consider closure of these two sets, F S closure is contained in C closure. So which implies F S closure is contained in C because C closure is C itself, right? C C closure is equal to C, and what is C? C is also contained in F T, but C is also contained in F T, which implies F S closure is contained in F T. So we get the third property. So we proved four properties of the uh, lemma. Now we want to prove that for every x in x, F X is equal to uh, infimum of T in Q. X belongs to F T. So next we claim that. For every x in capital X, comma f of x is nothing infimum of set of all t in Q such that x belongs to F T. Okay, we want to prove f x equal to this infimum. Okay. So to prove f of x equal to this infimum, you know what is this set of all t in Q such that x in F T. Okay, this clearly this set is a subset of real numbers, right? Set of all t in Q. Because the rational is not actually included in this. This set consists of rational numbers. So clearly, which is a subset of real line. You know, uh, a subset of real line. Infimum of a set in a real line exists only when that set is a bounded below set. Every bounded below, non-empty bounded below subset of real numbers has the infimum, right? So when you want to prove that f x equal to this. First, we want to ensure that the infimum of this set exists. So, for that, I need to consider this set, and we want to prove that this set is bounded below subset of real line. Okay. So, I take let x is a element in capital X. For that, I define let g x is equal to corresponding to every num every element in capital X. I define a new set g x, which is nothing but set of all t in Q, set of all t in Q, such that. X belongs to F T. I consider this as G X. Okay, this set as G X. Now, so that we want need only prove that F of X equal to infimum of G X, right? Yeah. So I will prove G of X. Uh, so that I claim that G X is a bounded below subset. When a set is bounded below, that set will have a lower bound, right? So I am going to find out what is the lower bound for this set. At least one, okay? Yeah. Okay. So I take an element first. Let t is an element in Q, right? I take an element from the rational numbers. Okay. You know what is f x? F is a mapping from closed end x to closed end double zero one. Therefore, f of x will be less than or equal to one and less than uh, greater than or equal to zero, right? So that when you consider a rational number t such that f x is less than t, so so that you can consider a t in Q such that f x will be will be less than t, 
അല്ലേ അതായത് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് സീറോ ഇൻറ്റി വൺ ഡി മെഡിക്കായിട്ടുള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് സിൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ബിലോങ്സ് ടു ദ ഇൻറ്റർവൽ സീറോ ആൻഡ് വൺ യു ക്യാൻ ക്ലിയർലി കൺസിഡർ യു ക്യാൻ സജസ്റ്റ് എ നമ്പർ ടി സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ ടി റൈറ്റ് സോ യു യു ടേക്ക് ദാറ്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് റാഷണൽ നമ്പർ ടി സോ വെൻ യു ചൂസ് സച്ച് എ റാഷണൽ നമ്പർ ദെൻ ദാറ്റ് ടി വിൽ ബി ബിലോങ്സ് ടു അവർ ജി എക്സ് okay the t will be belongs to our gx therefore our gx is a non empty set right gx is a non empty set and for every t in gx x belongs to ft implies f of x is less than t that is zero will be less than or equal to fx will be less than t because fx is always greater than or equal to zero so so that i can write zero will be less than or equal to fx less than t so which means zero is less than or equal to t or i can say t is greater than or equal to zero so what it means when you take a point t belongs to gx when you take a number t belongs to gx then that t will be greater than or equal to zero which implies for every t in gx comma that t will be greater than or equal to zero so that means if you consider any element t in gx that is greater than or equal to 0 means this set the elements of this set is greater than or equal to 0 or i can say that zero ivudulla ella t galum greater than or equal to 0 aanu adinte artham zero ne kaalum valiya thana ivudulla ella elements um so that zero will be a lower bound for this collection gx which means zero is a lower bound lower bound for gx and this is true for every x in capital x okay which means when when a set has a lower bound it is bounded below which means gx is a non empty bounded below non empty bounded below subset of real numbers subset of r you know by the completeness property of r every non empty bounded below subset of r has a infimum which means infimum of gx exists in r so infimum of gx exists in r means infimum of gx is a real number which implies infimum of gx is equal to some y where y is a real number for y is a real number so i take y as so take y equal to infimum of gx now we prove that now we prove that we want to prove that f of x equal to this infimum this take set is taken as gx so we want to prove that fx equal to infimum of gx now we take infimum of gx exists in real number therefore we take that as y now we prove that this y equal to infimum of our gx or which is nothing uh, which is equal to our f of x sorry then we prove that y is equal to our f of x okay okay now for every t in gx when t belongs to gx what will happen x will be less, belongs to ft right when t belongs to gx then corresponding x will be belongs to ft when x belongs to ft by definition f of x will be less than t right for every t in gx f of x is less than t okay so which implies gx le edu t eduthu kanyalum adu f of x ne kaalum validana എന്നല്ലേ അതിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം വിച്ച് മീൻസ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് എ ലോവർ ബൗണ്ട് റൈറ്റ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് എ ലോവർ ബൗണ്ട് ഫോർ ജി എക്സ് ജി എക്സിൽ ഏത് എലമെൻ്റ് ടി എടുത്താലും ആ ടി എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സിനേക്കാളും വലുതാണ് അപ്പോൾ എല്ലാ ടികൾക്കും ഈ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ജി ഓഫ് എക്സിലെ എല്ലാ എലമെൻസിൻ്റെയും ഒരു ലോവർ ബൗണ്ടായിട്ട് ആക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നു എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് സോ എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് എ ലോവർ ബൗണ്ട് ഫോർ ദി സെറ്റ് ജി എക്സ് right and what is uh, what is y y is taken as infimum of gx what is a uh, infimum infimum is the greatest lower bound right since f of x is an arbitrary lower bound and y is the infimum y must be greatest lower bound therefore which implies f of x is less than or equal to y since y is the greatest lower bound of gs so we get f of x is less than or equal to y but we want to prove that y equal to f of x that means f of x can't be less than y so i assume if what happen f of x is less than y if possible f of x is less than y 
you know f of f of x and y are real numbers in between two real numbers we can consider rational number so by density theorem which implies there exists a rational number there exists a rational q such that f of x less than q less than y so since fx is less than q implies x belongs to fq right when fx is less than t that x belongs to ft so that fx less than q implies x belongs to fq when x belongs to fq and q is the rational number implies q belongs to gx g of x il engalulla elements aanu edellam x gal aanu ft il ullathu aa t rational anengil adu gx il verum here q is the rational number such that x belongs to fq therefore by definition q must be belongs to gx by the definition of gx okay gx consists of rational numbers of this kind so q belongs to gx right when q belongs to gx q will be an arbitrary element of gx and what is y y is the infimum of gx so since it is an infimum it is a greatest lower bound right so which implies so since q is an arbitrary element y is the infimum of gx q must be greater than y but which is not possible because by our choice q is less than y right therefore fx cannot be less than y so which implies f of x must be equal to y that is f of x is equal to y means infimum of gx gx means set of all t in q such that f of x is less than t so we proved that f of x equal to infimum of this set